celestial bodies in our huge universe i think it is very typical topic for you but today i am here to make it pretty easy to understand this topic so i am neha and welcome to my channel aditya kids education so let's get started celestial bodies what are celestial bodies do you know the sun the moon the stars planets and many more objects that are shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies you will be more clear about the celestial bodies after seeing this picture okay what can you notice in this picture you can see sun moon planets satellites asteroids and many stars that you can't count now we will see about stars some celestial bodies are very big and hot they are made up of gases they have their own heat and light which they emit in a large amount and these celestial bodies are called stars yes stars stars have their own heat and light and the sun is also a star okay okay countless twinkling stars in the night sky are similar to the sun but we do not feel heat or light of the stars can you tell me why yes because stars are very very far from us and because of this they also seem to be small okay you must have noticed that all objects look smaller when seen from a distance okay so tell me have you seen an aeroplane flying at a great height how it looks yes it looks small like a star isn't it okay some more one more important fact is that proxima centauri is the closest star to the sun yes proxima centauri is a star that is closest to the sun okay children now tell me which star is the closest to the earth yes can you tell me okay it is sun sun is also a star and it is closest to the earth next is constellations while watching the night sky you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars in the night sky these are called constellations ursa major or big bear is one such constellation okay let's talk about saptarishi it is also known as ursa major it is one of the most easily recognizable constellation it means we can easily see this constellation that is saptarishi with our bare eyes yes it is and its shape is like a deeper or a spoon so do you know the meaning of deeper deeper is also a type of spoon that help to take our soup okay now how saptarishi is formed yes it is formed by the group of seven star okay next is and it has a special characteristic do you know what by using this constellation that is saptarishi location of a pole star can be estimated or determined now now see in the picture you can see a pattern formed by the group of a star now count with me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 this constellation is made up of seven star and that is saptarishi 
Now we will talk about one more important star and that is pole star. Okay. So the north star indicates the north direction. It is also called the pole star. It always remains in the same position in the sky. It means pole star does not change its position. Third, we can locate the position of the pole star with the help of Saptarishi. Now we will see in the next picture that how is it possible. Okay, let's see. First of all, what you see is the Saptarishi that is group of seven stars. Now, see two stars that are in the red circle. Okay, can you see? Okay, these two stars are called pointer stars. Okay, I am repeating again. They are called pointer stars. If you are standing under the star in the night, yes, and looking straight through the pointer stars, and if I draw an imaginary line joining the two pointer stars and extend it straight further, then this imaginary line will meet to the north star that is pole star. Okay. Next is sun. You all know sun, yes? But do you know that the sun is also a star? Sun is also a star present in solar system. It emits its own light and energy. It can be observed of different colors at different intervals of time. Yes, you can also observe this. You can see the sun in the morning and see the sun and the sunset when it is sunset okay now I know you are aware of this picture this is yes Sun now let's talk about planets some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light they are light by the lights of the stars such bodies are called planets now I know you will ask me how is it possible because when you see in the solar system you are able to see planets. Yes, the answer is that planets do not have their own heat and light. Planets get heat and light from the sun. And I told you earlier the sun is the nearest star to the earth. Okay. Okay, now see in this picture, there are how many planets? Yes, tell me. Yes, there are eight planets and one sun. Okay. Next is satellite. A satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planet in the same way as the planet moves around the sun. Okay. Now see in the picture. You all are aware of this picture. The first picture is of, yes, it's moon. Okay. And moon is the only natural satellite that revolves around the earth. In the second picture, yes, can you identify it? Yes, this is an artificial satellite. And it is man-made satellite. Okay, children, do you know a fact about this moon? Okay, I am going to tell you. Moon does not have its own light. Yes, it's true. I am sure that you will be thinking like, Oh no, I was not aware of this earlier. Yes, but it's true. Moon does not have its own light. But it is just reflect the light of the sun towards us. So in simple words, we can say, first the moon absorb heat or light emitted from the sun and then 
रीएमिट द एब्जॉर्ब हीट इन लाइट टूवर्ड्स अस ओके नाउ यू विल थिंकिंग दैट वॉट इज मून वॉट इज सेटेलाइट वॉट इज प्लेनेट सो डोंट टेक टेंशन यू विल सी डिटेल अबाउट दीज टर्म्स इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो ओके लाइक इन सोलर सिस्टम सो टिल देन स्टे सेफ and yes really don't feel in tension okay don't take tension about anything if you have any doubt then please write in the comment box i will definitely help you okay okay bye kids